Hi, Icky Dad here on the Kangamangas Highway in New Hampshire. Can I see if uh, this 2015 Sienna can tow this 2010 Flagstaff Mac 206 RT, I think? I got the battery out. It's as dry weight. No problem to tow it so far, but we're going to go up a pretty steep road. The Kangamangas Highway, if you ever get a chance, is awesome. Got this for a good deal from a friend. I'm gonna sell my old 1997 Coleman. Oh, you hear that river? It's a front wheel drive uh, 2015 Sienna got on Carvana. So we'll watch the heating lights. And so far, it really tows nice. I know I'll have to budget time for stopping and watch the transmission temperature. I'm gonna go down to the river now, find those kids. I found them. Oh, it's so nice. There must be uh, 30, 20 or 30 pullovers on the Kangamangas Highway with state parks. It's going to be worth it than going through the little towns with uh, town after town and way better than 93 where there's a lot of traffic. Hey. What's going on? Hi. Boy, that's a nice smelling forest and river. I've actually never been to this spot on the Kangamangas. Forgot the name of it. It's pretty close to the Conway side of things. Boy, I bet it'd be fun swimming. There's some easy pools you could stop in in the summer. There they are, pirates, mountain people, pirates, who knows what they are. DJ or a band or a car? A company. A company. Logo? Cool. All right, let's go up the hill. Okay, so the, the sun's going down, but before it does, this is much bigger. Here's the table, full-size bed. This is awesome because with the bed, with this, say, over here, and someone just sleeping in the queen-size bed, um, this can sit four people. We're talking about something that's really nice. Much better windows. This is a 2010. has a little ceiling fan. These lights are going to work with the battery, although I prefer LED. I'll get LED bulbs, I think. And as you can see here, three burner stove, sink, which I will have drain into a gray water tank. Uh, I'll just put water up somewhere, maybe here when she's not cooking, like a two gallon thing of water. And a refrigerator, like one of those college refrigerators. This heater works well, and I might even use it, but so far, this queen size bed is great. So we have a regular Sunbeam electric blanket, just as good, I'm sure, as a heated mattress. Outlets should work. And I don't know, what do you think, honey? This has a much like more usable feel. It feels a little more like a one room apartment. <laughs> right. And less like a bedroom outside. Right, and curtains yeah. and yeah. emergency porta potty. So that's the trailers I wanted to just contrast. That was Emergency porta potty. Oh my god. 
and there's a little thing that goes into a bucket. That's never been used. I think it would just be so my mom won't have to walk in to go pee at night. All right. This also has one of these front storage things with a side entry, which I do find useful for things you don't want in there, tools and stuff. And it has so many more um, electrical lines, propane running outside, and that all works. If you're really in the pop-up internet, just searching and searching, first of all, see your therapist and, and you know ask yourself, what are you trying to get away from into a small hobbit house? Second, um, little ones are great to start and very used ones are great to start. The canvas can be patched um, and you can try it out or rent one. And then spend a lot of money if you think you're gonna really use them. I have a, a fond place in my heart for our little Coleman house, as do the children. And we will for this one too. Someday I may make enough money to indulge my, my uh, fascination with fiberglass scamp type trailers. They're all season, full fiberglass. These, as we know, are composite, whatever that's called, wood. And if they start to rot or get moldy, it's super, super uh, tough to deal with that. And everybody stay, uh, stay in their little hobbit houses, either in your mind, which is cheaper, or in a real one.